Good morning. It's a really uh, honor for us to have uh, such a great uh, occasion, uh, chance to, to having with you. And you are the, uh, one of the most famous person in, in, in the world, so after, especially after COVID-19 uh, crisis. So uh, we really uh, appreciate uh, you sharing the time for us. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And I really look forward to visit Japan in person. So yeah. I cherish every time before actually visiting uh, post pandemic, uh, these dialogues so we can have more common topics to talk once I do visit. Yeah, that's right. Um, I It's really surprising for me that you haven't uh, come to Japan after COVID-19. That's correct. Uh, before COVID-19, I've frequently visited, yes. but not uh, after COVID-19. I see, I see. So. I, f I found so many uh, seminars, uh, the TV programs, uh, you know, you are there uh, as a, a guest, uh, as a, I invited other guests. So I thought you maybe come, come to Japan in, in person, uh, so, but uh, it's not true. It's that you just uh, uh, participate through the uh, in internet. Oh, okay, I see, I see, thank you very much. I really, uh, thank you very much. So by the way, um, um, I personally uh, visit uh, the, the, the Taiwan uh, as a private for uh, three times and for the business for four or five times and I really uh, I love uh, Taiwan uh, as a uh, in, uh, as a uh, yeah, uh, person and we uh, the, as a uh, the uh, Ibaraki prefecture we feel very close uh, even uh, especially after the Tiger Airline, uh, the the start the direct flight from Taipei to uh, the Ibaraki. So the we had a uh, several uh, 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 event. Uh, we had we held uh, several events together, and also we visit uh, the each other. So um, and the peoples for, uh, in Ibaraki, uh, not only Ibaraki, maybe. Uh, other uh, uh, neighbor uh, prefecture uh, people in ne neighbor prefecture also feel the uh, and also be become convenient to uh, visit uh, Taiwan. Mm -hmm. Maybe the yes. after COVID nineteen that uh, we are uh, expecting the many Taiwanese people to come to the Ibaraki for the cycling, <laughs> or, or uh, the people uh, the, from Ibaraki or other uh, neighbor prefecture to visit. Uh, Taiwan through the Ibaraki airport. So, and, and uh, I re we really uh, looking forward to the after, uh, post Corona uh, era. Uh, how do you see the the, the, the Tokyo Olympics games uh, the, from your uh, country? And how how do you evaluate? Wildly popular, right? People are wearing those Olympic masks. Oh, There's yeah. cars with badminton field designs yes. and uh, all the uh, you know uh, televised shows mm -hmm. and uh, competitions they are mm -hmm. very very warmly received mm -hmm. so I, I would say it's extremely mm -hmm. fortunate mm -hmm. that we get to have Tokyo Olympic mm -hmm. uh, during the time when Taiwan was just recovering mm -hmm. from the pandemic mm -hmm. it marks a transition yeah. from the worst of the wave in May yeah. to now zero COVID yeah. uh, in September uh -huh. and it's like a catalyst mm -hmm. uh, in how people perceived mm -hmm. ourselves mm -hmm. it's a declaration that uh, together yeah. right we're stronger and faster mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, which is of course the motto of this year's yeah. Olympic yeah. is about together and uh -huh. I think it would not be possible mm -hmm. uh, even for the team in Taiwan or for yeah. myself yeah. to get vaccinated for mm -hmm. the Olympic mm -hmm. uh, if not for the generous donation uh, mm -hmm. from Japan uh, yeah. the AstraZeneca yeah. vaccines which are uh, actually Japan keeps the uh, the gifts uh, coming right <laughs> we yeah. just received another half million oh, uh, and yes. uh, I really must sincerely um, really really oh. express my gratitude because without this yes. uh, none of this transition into to postpone pandemic would happen without Japan's generous contribution. Oh, 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 oh. My, from my side, I really uh, 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 say thank you. Need to say thank you. You, you uh, your country gave us uh, the masks, and uh, mm -hmm. when we uh, uh, suffering the first wave of the COVID nineteen, mm -hmm. uh, it's a really have because the peoples are all panic and asking me to. Uh, the give us masks, especially the uh, medical 
uh, yeah, uh, medical uh, masks. Yeah, yes. medical masks. Uh, I, I was a, it, it was a very a tough time. So it, it, I really appreciate you, uh, countries that gave us, uh, you know, the medical mask. Uh, have you already vaccination uh, uh, all the people in Taiwan? Not, not, not yet, right? Oh. Um, because we have uh, rolled out our own uh, vaccine, the Medigen vaccine. Oh, I see. Um, the Medigen vaccine is available uh, to pretty much anyone uh, uh-huh. who wants to get vaccinated. Yeah. But the truth is that many people prefer uh, AstraZeneca uh-huh. or BNT uh-huh. or Moderna uh-huh. and so on. Yeah. And these are still in more limited supply. Mm-hmm. So at this moment, we have sufficient vaccine to vaccinate on the first dose mm-hmm. of pretty much everybody, mm-hmm. including people uh, younger than 18, yeah. uh, people as young as 12, I believe, mm-hmm. uh, are eligible yeah. for the BNT yes. vaccine. But we have only the dose for the second dose for mm-hmm. mo- uh, mm-hmm. for, for the um, medical workers, yeah. the frontline staff, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the elderly and senior people. So mm-hmm. the second dose for the younger population Mm -hmm. that probably will have to wait until November and so on before the second dose Mm -hmm. catches up uh, for Mm -hmm. the full vaccination Mm -hmm. of all people. Oh, I see. Uh, From our uh, perception, uh, uh, we we have to, uh, we we can um, uh, start uh, uh, full full size of the economy or social activity only after the fully vaccination people. So otherwise, uh, you know, it's quite uh, possible to uh, the increase the uh, uh, number of patients, uh, you know, rapidly, like uh, we see we saw in the U.S. or maybe uh, sometime uh, 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 before, uh, sometime in Taiwan too. I thought that uh, there's some limited period that you have a, you had also the uh, the, the patients. Yeah, we- yeah, we had a level three uh, national wide pandemic alert mm-hmm. uh, for for a while, yeah. for around three months or so. Uh, yeah. And that was because mm-hmm. um, masks alone, mm-hmm. um, even medical grade mask alone, mm-hmm. if it's not worn very properly, it's uh-huh. not very effective against the variants, yes. the alpha and delta yes. variants. Yes. That's the main difference against mm-hmm. the previous version, right? SARS True. 2.0. We're now 2.0 Delta, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but there is a different version of the yeah. virus. Yeah. And the main difference is the airborne transmission. Yeah. Yes. So we did not have adequate mm-hmm. preparation for mm-hmm. the airborne uh, mm-hmm. transmission. Mm-hmm. And that's uh, Taiwan's real first wave uh, yeah. in May. But after we changed um, the um, use of masks, after we changed the uh, um, way to run our schools and so on, even with no lockdown. We've never restricted uh, intercity movement or uh, imposed curfew or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, But we did successfully um, went back to zero COVID uh, Mm -hmm. around August, September. So I I would say uh, one of the main lessons learned in this real first wave, indeed, as you said, Mm -hmm. is that vaccination at the end of the day is uh, the only way Mm -hmm. um, forward. Mm-hmm. So I look forward in November, maybe when both of us mm-hmm. uh, are uh, looking at a society fully vaccinated, yeah. we can resume some travel. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Oh, you expecting the 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 full vaccination in your country around uh, October or, or November? Uh, November is likely uh, uh-huh. that people who are at risk uh, mm-hmm. of. Um, a severe case of COVID uh, mm-hmm. will get the full doses mm-hmm. required. Mm-hmm. Uh, for younger people mm-hmm. uh, or very young people like people mm-hmm. before the age of 11, mm-hmm. uh, that still needs some um, experiments to mm-hmm. make sure that they are safe mm-hmm. for very young people. So it's not full vaccination, but it uh, would protect mm-hmm. uh, everyone who are vulnerable uh, mm-hmm. from the COVID. So I f- mm-hmm. I did the... Uh, I f- uh, started the uh, uh, partnership uh, uh, declaration certification from the local from the local government other as a Ibaraki prefecture for the LGB, LGBT people so you're handing out certificates yes 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 yes, okay. yes it's, it's, it's just a, a, there's no legal uh, you know uh, uh, sure, sure. It's a power. recommendation. Yeah, that recommendation or just a, a, certif- a certification, uh, you are mm-hmm. the partners. But that helps uh, 
to to uh, uh, that helps to accommodate the uh, living in Ibaraki, like uh, uh, in the hospital or in the the finding the, the houses or uh, getting the services or finance services or insurance services, something like that, uh, so so on and so on. So, but f- it, at that time I felt I got uh, a really really hard reaction, uh, especially in the parliament. Uh, local mm-hmm. of the local government and uh, uh, the the way of saying that it's too too early. Uh, we need to find uh, some uh, the, the consensus in the society. There's no consensus for that. For that, so you should wait. But uh, I I strongly believe that this is a matter of the. It, it, it is not matter of the economic policy. It is matter of the you know human rights policy. So mm-hmm. I think uh, uh, there's no reason to uh, stop that to wait, wait to wait or uh, to, cr- to wait wait to, to creating the, the, the social social consensus. But because uh, for say for, uh, let's say uh, you know um, any kind of discrimination is not uh, is not uh, based on the you know. Uh, and, and uh, so social uh, social consensus to overcome. So I put forward, but I still uh, I had a uh, I had a uh, very uh, strong reaction. Uh, so uh, struggling to, uh, to to drive the uh, in, uh, diversity in this prefecture. So um, I I think uh, this is not uh, unique for the Ibaraki prefecture. So I really appreciate. Uh, if you uh, suggest us, uh, maybe Taiwan, uh, Taiwan uh, as, a, as a country, they uh, legalize the uh, marriage of the uh, yes. uh, LGBT uh, people, Marriage right? equality. Yes, 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 yeah. equality, right? So uh, how, uh, the, how the Taiwan, you know, maybe uh, I, I, I believe that it's, it's, it was the same situation, overcome the, such a, Definitely. yeah, such mm-hmm. a, you know, uh, traditional uh, old notion or uh, way of thinking to the uh, uh, diversity or inclusion uh, or, uh, or discrimination type of mind, mindset. So how does the overcome the, that uh, 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 you, your country overcome such a, uh, obstacles and also, um, uh, as I, as I say, uh, how, how do you see the uh, the, the merit or uh, a power of the uh, diversity and the inclusion of if, or after the uh, COVID nineteen uh, the era uh, in the Taiwan? So I I, I really uh, want you uh, getting from you the uh, maybe a good suggestion or. Uh, way of the uh, uh, bring the, the, the this uh, momentum to f- put forward in the Ibaraki prefecture. So, uh, c- can you suggest? Uh, yes, definitely. Um, I think participation is really the key. If people do not feel that they are included in decision making, then they don't feel anything when a new policy rolls out, right? Because when it's about marriage equality, really it's not taking anyone's rights away. It's just adding some rights to mm-hmm. some people. Yeah. So theoretically, it should be a net plus. Yeah. But if people do not consult the people who are more senior or care more about traditions and mm-hmm. so on, then they feel that they are being taken away the right to decide what marriage means. Mm-hmm. And that is very detrimental mm-hmm. to these cultures. Yeah. So in Taiwan, we use digital democracy like electronic petition. We use direct democracy like referendums. We use many ways to increase the bit rate of mm-hmm. democracy. Previously, it was every person <clears throat> voting for the parliamentarians uh, every time, uh, like every vote is four years, four years. So like three bits every four years. But it's a very small bandwidth when it mm-hmm. comes to expression mm-hmm. of their preferences. Mm-hmm. But in Taiwan, when we um, institutionalized this direct democracy, mm-hmm. we get a wider range of opinions. Mm-hmm. So on equality, for example, mm-hmm. we have a referendum past that says um, people think of marriage as marriage between two families, yeah. but they don't want same-sex people's uh, 
families、mm. to be wed together.、Mm. But we have another referendum that says、uh, people are happy if they are given a special act that hyperlinks, that links back to the、mm. civil code,、mm. but only on the individual to individual basis.、Mm. So, see if we、uh, put this debate on the parliament. Usually, it will be the two dimensions of family and individual will be conflated into a zero-sum game.、Mm-hmm. But through direct democracy,、mm-hmm. we were able to carve out what I call marrying the bylaw,、mm-hmm. like all the rights and duties,、mm-hmm. but not the in-law, not the father-in-law, mother-in-law. So when two individual of the same sex、uh, did their wedding,、mm-hmm. their family relationship do not change,、mm-hmm. but they enjoy the same rights and duties、mm-hmm. as individual who、mm-hmm. are heterosexually wed.、Mm-hmm. So this is an innovation that、mm-hmm. is only possible when we include the voice and innovations of all the different sides of this issue and essentially take all the sides.、Mm-hmm. So there is no innovation without inclusion, and inclusion is. Seen as participation、mm-hmm. from people. Otherwise,、mm-hmm. the diversity、uh, is just about getting people on the stage. But inclusion means they get to participate in the stage agenda setting. Oh, I see.、Yeah. Uh, that really uh, uh, helping us to uh, the, the, uh, uh, to think forward. Uh, uh, still, um, um, uh, I have a question. Uh, still, I think uh, uh, there are、uh, uh, some、uh, amount of people uh, just uh, opposing to uh, to uh, to I, how do you say uh, uh, the, uh, to listen to broader voices through the, something like a referendum or uh, direct uh, the, uh, the democracy. Uh, How to say?、Uh, especially the、uh, parliament will, will uh, could be uh, could resist to do the such things. To especially such, uh, uh, in the area of the sensitive issues. So, um, uh, how do you suggest us uh, uh, to to overcome uh, uh, those kind of the、uh, opinions? Who, who, who、uh, which tried to uh, register, uh, try to register, broaden, broaden the, the, the,、uh, the how to say basis of the uh, uh, democracy uh, in the, in, in, especially in the area of the,、uh, the sensitive、uh, issues for, for them. Yeah, I think we need to make it continuous. Mm-hmm. That is to say, not a winner-take-all situation,、mm-hmm. but a situation where things can be incrementally experimented.、Mm-hmm. Our、uh, national referenda, although they are binding, they are binding only for two years.、Mm-hmm. So every time a referendum passes,、mm-hmm. the opposing side need to think of better arguments, and they know in just two years' time they will have a chance. To go back and、oh. then innovate again to discover a new solution to the、uh, issue with our common value in、mm-hmm. hand,、mm-hmm. and so people do not feel they have utterly lost、mm-hmm. when they lose a referendum. They、yes. do not feel they have utterly lost when their petition get rejected,、mm-hmm. but they know they can try again sixty、mm. days, ninety days,、mm. or two years after the fact. Oh, I see. That's a great idea. Oh,、uh, that only.、Um, Effective、uh, the、uh, the two years the result、mm-hmm. of the reference reference oh that's a great idea I really an impressive <laughs> solution how we can、um, how to say、um, influence or、uh, how do you、um, uh, move forward especially still in the national level there's a several、uh, the different opinion especially、uh, sorry about、uh, diversity inclusion how how we should do uh, 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 from your、uh, prospect, yeah, in Taiwan,、uh, of course, everyone knows that President Dr. Tsai Ing-wen、uh, is pro marriage equality,、mm-hmm. pro LGBTQ、mm-hmm. issue.、Mm-hmm. But I think that was because she built upon、mm-hmm. uh, previous contributors of、mm-hmm. uh, women's empowerment and、mm-hmm. equality、mm-hmm. in Taiwan, like、uh, one of our 
past vice president uh, Annette Liu, mm -hmm. uh, who uh, herself contributed a lot mm -hmm. to the early movement to equalize the pay, mm -hmm. uh, equalize the social mm -hmm. uh, recognition of mm -hmm. women, uh, especially in political areas. Mm -hmm. So we have a parliament where we have more than 40% of MPs are women, mm -hmm. and in the public sector, mm -hmm. we have the public service mm -hmm. uh, filing gender impact assessments to mm -hmm. make sure mm -hmm. that uh, they do not uh, confuse biology with destiny yeah. Yeah. Uh, for the past, uh, I think, 15, 16 years now. Uh -huh. So the point I'm making is that it requires uh, support from the existing movements on um, the equality between mm -hmm. women and men, mm -hmm. and then we can use reuse the same structure of the gender equality committee gender mainstreaming and so on because we have already successfully mm -hmm. decoupled uh, mm -hmm. the stereotypes yeah. of one's biology and one's social role mm -hmm. we can then move forward to say hey then what's about marriage what about civil union and so on mm -hmm. but without this equal participation without a high number of women in parliament mm -hmm. uh, without a president who is 100 percent women uh, we cannot even begin yeah. to have a societal conversation yeah. about lgbtq issues yes. so the uh, feminist movement i mm -hmm. believe is our natural and strongest ally and mm -hmm. we really need to work mm -hmm. on gender mainstreaming especially in the public service mm -hmm. so having a dedicated um, diversity and inclusion unit in your government i mm -hmm. believe is a really good first step yeah yeah i see i see and uh, as the leader of the local government, uh, uh, I think uh, we I have a, a lot of things to do uh, to pr promote uh, 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 the notion of the uh, uh, diversity and uh, inclusion. What's your suggestion uh, from your uh, the experience uh, in Taiwan? What do your suggestion to the the local government in, in Japan to, to promote the, uh, the, uh, 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 or f moving forward uh, uh, regarding the, uh, the, this diversity and the inclusion? Uh, I believe making sure there are plenty of safe spaces mm -hmm. is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. For a long time, uh, the Pride Parade mm -hmm. in Taipei mm -hmm. and then later on in Kaohsiung and so on, oh. in Taiwan, was considered the safe space mm -hmm. for the LGBTQ community in the whole Asia, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. People specifically flo uh, flew mm -hmm. to Taiwan to participate in the I Pride see. Parade. Mm -hmm. uh, last year, I believe, we were the only country that has Pride Parade physically uh, <laughs> in that, during that time of COVID. So uh -huh. um, it became a place where the international support mm -hmm. can a lot of spotlight mm -hmm. to the mayor and to the city uh, public servants mm -hmm. so that they do feel mm -hmm. that this is an important cultural contribution mm -hmm. uh, and it has like real benefit to the local economy as mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. and uh, before long you will find that this, this develops into something that includes mm -hmm. the society even people who are unaware mm -hmm. of lgbtq issues mm -hmm. they will see that hey this is a, a good culture to promote because mm -hmm. it means more innovations mm -hmm. more visitors more uh, people who participate mm -hmm. in our local economy mm -hmm. the same goes for like esports right? yeah, many yeah. Uh, local government in taiwan promoted yeah. esports uh -huh. uh, set up their own competitions uh -huh. sponsored the teams built stadiums yeah, of yeah, esports yeah. And yeah. so on. Even before we, uh, in the national level, consider esport a sport in mm -hmm. 2016, mm -hmm. again they gained a lot of economic benefits and mm -hmm. cultural ones as well. Mm -hmm. ah, I see. I see. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I, by the way, I also promoting the esports too. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, I, uh, the Pride Parade, uh, we also uh, 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 do the, uh, some group, maybe we, we can invite them to do the same uh, parade in mm -hmm. Ibaraki Prefecture uh, yes. to, to stimulate yeah. the people's uh, the mindset. Mm. Yes, and, and turn it into an economic and cultural festival, Yeah. so everyone can contribute. Oh, okay. Can, can I ask you <coughs> ask you the maybe some some video message if we we can succeed to the such a uh, event? Definitely, <laughs> oh, definitely. I have 
supported many pride parades in oh, really? Japan, both virtually and face-to-face oh. uh, -face with video messages. And oh, okay. uh, if you do hold one and we're yeah. post-pandemic, yeah. I may even, you know, show up in person. Uh -huh. I see. Thank you very much. I, I, we knew all. We all knew that you were the uh, the uh, uh, expert of the uh, DX area and also the uh, the uh, very famous uh, what you did as a minister uh, in in Taiwan uh, for mm -hmm. to tackle the the COVID nineteen through the uh, the uh, digital uh, technology. So. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you think the you know the uh, the, the coming DX uh, society will uh, mm -hmm. help us to uh, uh, you know uh, uh, ex uh, strengthen the, the diversity or inclusion uh, the society? Uh, how do you see there any connection between the DX and the diversity and inclusion? Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. I think inclusion depends on people who feel they are safe mm -hmm. in a space mm -hmm. to contribute mm -hmm. otherwise they will not contribute if they feel excluded yes, yes. and it's much easier online mm -hmm. than offline to build a safe space mm -hmm. because across the monitor there's only so much one can do right mm -hmm. to uh, make sure that the people who care about these things um, identify themselves as mm -hmm. a hashtag or things like that. Mm -hmm. Even in jurisdictions that are not democratic, mm -hmm. they cannot completely shut off access to the internet. Yeah. There's only so much a repressive regime can do mm -hmm. uh, to prevent their people to yeah. discover the people with similar interests or similar identities mm -hmm. online. Mm -hmm. So this is a natural haven mm -hmm. for people who are diverse uh, in a more repressive society. Mm -hmm. Now, in democracies like Japan and Taiwan, yeah. of course, we can build digital public infrastructure that goes a step beyond. Mm -hmm. It's not just about not censoring this speech. It's about encouraging this speech. Mm -hmm. And because you have run uh, the business of Nico Nico, you know yeah. exactly yeah. what I'm talking about. <laughs> On Nico Nico, there's no subculture, right? Yeah. It's just yeah. this culture and that culture uh -huh. because it is a safe space. Yes. People will not discriminate yeah. against the less popular subcultures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Within their circle, they're all yeah. cultural uh, participants. Yeah. And that fosters a creative expression mm -hmm. that prepares them for conversation uh, and dialogue mm -hmm. with the mainstream. Mm -hmm. So having public infrastructures such as Nico Nico yeah. or the Taiwan's uh, PTT and uh -huh. so on, uh -huh. these are very important. I see. By the way, you, you are familiar with uh, Nico Nico t TV in Japan? I have uh, participated a, a few times that I'm not intimately familiar because <laughs> I don't speak Japanese. Oh, I but see. I have yeah. I have uh, watched uh, the virtual spokesperson mm -hmm. of um, your prefecture that uh, introduced first in English and then yeah. the virtual anchor says, yeah. I'll just put on some English subtitles. I'm yeah. going to speak in Japanese. <laughs> I think that that is very creative yeah. and yeah. definitely carries the style yeah. of Nico yeah. Nico ah, and virtual YouTubers. Yeah. Yes, uh, thank you very much. <laughs> um, uh, my team requested me to do to to talk more about the DX. Sometimes, uh, 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 how do you say, to confuse uh, uh, the, when we uh, people discuss about the DX, uh, the, because, uh, you know, I'm, I used to be the, uh, the IT industry uh, as a, but, but I, I do just sales, but not, not the developer. Uh, so I, I, my knowledge of, about the uh, uh, technology itself is not very limited, but uh, still I feel the, you know, uh, uh, especially in Japan, a long time we are talking about the IT, uh, sometimes Web 2.0 2 or uh, sometimes DX, sometimes uh, yes. blah, blah, blah. Every time the, the, the industry creating a new new uh, world and uh, to, to sell more <laughs> IT technology. Mm -hmm. that was, I, yes, <laughs> I remember when I was a child, the yeah. buzzword from Japan was yeah. neuro fuzzy something. Uh, uh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's uh, so. And uh, I'm I'm uh, the, from my experience, I'm a little bit uh, afraid that people just saying the DX DX without no uh, 
uh, pointing out the uh, specific points, you know, just the very uh, uh, broad way uh, that we, we need to, we need to, uh, uh, how to say, uh, do the DX, mm -hmm. we need to catch up the DX or something like that. Um, uh, I, I, is it a, 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 a very uh, unique uh, the phenomenon or uh, uh, the situation only in Japan, or uh, mm. what about in, in your country? That you are uh, you in your country. Mm. Yeah. In in Taiwan, yeah. we had a similar buzzword yeah. uh, with AI. Yeah. AI is a very popular buzzword, uh -huh. but we do not have a similar one with uh, DX. Yeah, and I believe the reason is that we've not had this IT um, um, buzzword before. Mm -hmm. In Taiwan, uh, the digital transformation mm -hmm. is seen as part of a transformation mm -hmm. that uh, still connects people to people. Mm -hmm. But in Japan, many times when we uh, hear IT, yeah. it's about connecting machine to machine. Uh -huh or connecting people to machine, yes. like replacing yes. uh, people who answer calls yeah. uh, with automated machines, yeah. replacing people who are uh, doing ticketing with ticketing machines, uh -huh. and so on. So um, in Japan, the, the term IT has a very strong machine-to-machine -machine flavor yeah. to it. Uh -huh. But in Taiwan, we've always talked about connecting people to people oh. in, in digital, I see. And which is why it's not a Pass, uh, it's not a, a passcode toward more uh, robots, uh -huh. right? Digital transformation in Taiwan yeah. is always to make people uh, feel happier, uh -huh. to connect the uh, senior people uh -huh. to their children and grandchildren in cities, uh -huh. to mm -hmm. connect that to their medical and educational services mm -hmm. and things like that. It's always connecting people to people. Mm -hmm. So it has no potential to become a automation buzzword because mm -hmm. it's always assistive, always helping people. Mm, I see. So there, um, I, I think that the, the way of thinking in Taiwan is very um, uh, the helpful for uh, to imagine how to utilize uh, the technology for our uh, the life lifestyle mm -hmm. or life uh, uh, the social activity because uh, as I said uh, the, the the discussion about the DX in uh, in Japan it's more as you say as you mentioned more focusing too much on the technology only machine to machine and not uh, so without uh, telling the how we how that technology or how that notion will change our life. So I think uh, I, I, it's a good, good point that we should first uh, focus uh, how we, we, we need to change the way of life or uh, the connect, uh, connect, connectivity with the people and pe people to people uh, to, to, and to how we can use the technology to utilize such uh, expecting the change. So uh, that's the that's the, the, the helpful way of saying. So there, are yeah, people. Uh, uh, how do you see the the exact uh, the real uh, change of the uh, uh, life uh, through the AI or uh, or DX whatever uh, in in Taiwan? You have a uh, 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 so uh, uh, drastic yeah. change in, in, in life. Definitely. Yeah. And I I think uh, we all know. Um, digital can save time mm -hmm. and make people feel safer. Mm -hmm. But I think the ultimate value is uh, building mutual trust, mm -hmm. trustworthiness, oh. um, so that people can trust each other more. Yeah. And for example, yeah. uh, during the pandemic, everyone needs to do contact tracing. Mm -hmm. But because of the alpha and delta variant, mm -hmm. it's no longer sufficient that we complete the contact tracing uh, interview and so on in 24 hours mm -hmm. because during those 24 hours it's already a danger of spreading to the next circle to the next circle mm -hmm. so using uh, a new way of checking in to venues mm -hmm. we ask um, all the venue owners completely voluntarily mm -hmm. uh, at no cost whatsoever mm -hmm. um, to use their phone uh, to put a QR code 
on a website, mm-hmm. which they can get to their get to their nearby Seven Eleven or family mart and uh, get that QR code printed out. Mm-hmm. So no printer required. Mm-hmm. But uh, they just put a QR code uh, in their front door, yeah. and anyone with no app required just scan with their camera mm-hmm. and send an SMS mm-hmm. uh, to 1922, a uh, toll-free number. Mm-hmm. So again, no cost required for the consumer as mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. So at no cost of either side. Mm-hmm. Now, we, uh, since May, um, after introducing the 1922 SMS check-in system, we've sent around a quarter uh, billion mm-hmm. SMS messages mm-hmm. uh, to check-in. And there is no um, worry about the cybersecurity because it's not sent to any other company. Mm. It's stored directly in the telecom. Oh. And only when the contact tracer need the information do they call the telecom. And then when they get the information, the person whose uh, record gets viewed, mm. they can surveillance the system mm. uh, and get a full audit trail of who checked their mm. system and mm-hmm. only contact tracer can do that. Mm-hmm. And because it's very transparent, mm-hmm. people had a lot of trust mm. in checking in and because of that we shortened the contact tracing from 24 hours Mm -hmm. to less than 24 minutes Mm -hmm. and that's what enabled our zero covid strategy Mm -hmm. to work really well because we very reliably find the contacts and notify the contacts and quarantine them wow that's amazing 24 hours to 24 minutes 24 minutes it's almost uh, entirely automated now i see oh I I I can't imagine why uh, why we, we don't import that system to Japan. <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm very happy to help <laughs> implement that system yeah. in Japan. Very interested. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Very impressive. Uh, so I'm I that I try to introduce the, the checking system a uh, checking application. Uh, it's for free uh, for the, the uh, people in Ibaraki Prefecture to to sign up uh, to using the QR code and uh, if and they uh, go into the restaurant and uh, then if they uh, or any any uh, shops or whatever and then in the case that we found some uh, patient uh, as, uh, the, of COVID-19 that we we. Uh, send out uh, the uh, notification to the people who check check out, checking in their uh, the same uh, places, same day, same time. So the uh, noticing them that you must you can be there, uh, the the uh, potential uh, uh, of the getting the COVID nineteen. So the please check out the, your uh, the the, the uh, your uh, <coughs> uh, situation. So that that uh, that. Uh, System, uh, we launched uh, the almost one year, one year, uh, one year ago, but uh, still not really popular <laughs> among the people. They are so. We, we, we the, the critical yeah. uh, point is if you ask the citizen yeah. to type in anything, yeah, it would fail. No. So our system, yes, they scan the QR code, press yeah. send, and that's it. Like yeah. two seconds. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. they never need to type anything. They oh. never need to install anything oh, in their phone. Oh, I see. So, so that, I think, is yeah. one of the key points of digital transformation, yeah. is that you need to be faster, yeah. more fair, and yeah. more fun yeah, than the previous right. way of checking in, like writing on papers yeah. and so on. Yeah. For many, especially senior people, if you ask them yeah. to type in their phone number, uh-huh. they, they don't work with it. Uh, yeah. in, in Taiwan, <laughs> yeah. uh, around 20% of yeah. people, uh-huh. even if they have a smartphone, they yeah. never install an app. Uh-huh. So um, not only is our QR code scanner not an app, yes. uh, you can use the built-in camera, uh-huh. but for those 20% of yeah. people, they don't have to scan anything because the QR code is just a 15-digit number. Mm-hmm. So it's printed as part of the poster. Yeah. So for them, they just text 1922. Oh. And type in the number and send, oh. and they finish the check in. Oh. So it's sending a toll free SMS. Yes. So even people who don't know how QR code works mm. can finish the check in by themselves. Oh, and I they see. feel very satisfied, like they have uh, learned digital competence. <laughs> they can now teach other senior people. Oh. So, yes, I, I believe uh, thinking about 
diversity、mm-hmm. of people's、uh, experience with digital、mm-hmm. and inclusion,、mm-hmm. like designing way for them to manually type in、mm-hmm. the the code,、uh, is important because then、mm-hmm. they feel included in the、mm-hmm. effort. Oh, I see. I see. I saw the the people in Taiwan,、uh, even old people can、uh, are interested in handling the smartphone or. Uh, and also yeah, for one application, a Japanese application called Line.、Ah, for、yeah. many people in Taiwan,、uh-huh. online means、uh-huh. on, online. <laughs> There's no <laughs> other app on their phone. I see, I see. Ah,、oh, that's that popular in to, in Japan too. So for 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 yourself, um, um, uh, how do you um, uh. Looking forward to the next、uh, after COVID nineteen,、uh, the, the society、um, uh, both in、uh, Taiwan. Maybe you are、uh, the expectation for Japan or the how do you look at the worldwide?、Uh, how, how what kind of the how do we uh, uh, how do you say uh, uh, different? Uh, 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 we, how we we will be、uh, changing after the COVID nineteen?、Uh, how do how do you see the the future?、Mm-hmm. Uh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're we're back to zero COVID for、mm-hmm. a while now、uh, mm-hmm. in Taiwan.、Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't say we're post pandemic because、mm-hmm. there's always a risk of another wave. But I would say we have postponed the mm-hmm. pandemic. Mm-hmm. And in this、uh, circumstance, I understand that. Uh, around the world, people are forming a global neighborhood. That、mm-hmm. is to say, this is the first time that we share the same urgency、yeah. on any global issue.、Mm-hmm. Previously, for for example, the disinformation crisis,、mm-hmm. the more liberal and democratic countries band together,、yeah. but not the more authoritarian ones.、Mm-hmm. For climate urgency, the countries that are islands. Banded together,、yeah. but not necessarily all the continental ones、yeah. uh, and things like that, because we have different urgency.、Yeah. But、uh, in COVID, everyone is just two months away、mm-hmm. from each other、mm-hmm. uh, in situation of、mm-hmm. the first wave or the second or between the waves and so on.、Yeah. So we、uh, share the same urgency to、mm-hmm. learn together、mm-hmm. and to share what we have. Found together,、mm-hmm. so I believe our ideas of neighborhood profoundly changed、mm-hmm. uh, during the pandemic. I often wake up and having conversation with、uh, South and North American counterparts,、yeah. and during that time, well, it's with you, <laughs> with Japan, with Indo Pacific,、yeah. uh, and during the evening, that's with Europe and with yeah. Africa. Yeah. So I become a time traveler, well, time zone traveler、yeah. <laughs> during the day, yeah.、Uh, and, yes. <laughs>、uh, the people who care about The same thing together.、Uh-huh. We'll remember this,、uh-huh. and then we carry this conversation forward、mm-hmm. to tackle climate change,、mm-hmm. to tackle the disinformation crisis, the、mm-hmm. health of the internet,、mm-hmm. and many, many other、uh, transformational issues. Understanding we have succeeded before working together. Yeah, yeah. I see. I see.、Uh, Minister uh, and uh, Tan, I'm very. Uh, thank you very much for、uh, the uh, having uh, 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 sharing the, your、uh, idea uh, notion and uh, and uh, we are uh, really uh, really appreciate、uh, your time and also suggestion and、uh, your idea and、uh, I'm with、uh, trying hard to uh, uh, creating the. Uh, uh, The society in、uh, in 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 Ibaraki Prefecture,、uh, the more people、uh, enjoy their diversity and also inclusion.、Uh, people any any people、uh, can live their own life.、Uh, the, uh, so the please、uh, keep help us uh, uh, to creating such a、uh, ideal、uh, for both of us maybe. And so and also、uh, I really、uh, looking forward to. Uh, seeing you in person,、uh, maybe after、uh, COVID nineteen, and、uh, yeah, and also、uh, thank you very much. It, it is very, very much my honor uh, to uh, have her,、uh, this occasion. And uh, so, sorry, and uh, uh, last time, last three, and、uh, I, I, we want to ask you to、uh, give us your message. I、uh, give give your message to our. 
uh, young people and the old people in, in Ibaraki Prefecture. That's so, sorry, that's a request from my team, sorry. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. so as I always quote uh, Lena Cohen, ring the bells that still can ring, forget your perfect offering, for mm. there is a crack, a crack in everything, and that is how the light gets in. So let's be the light, and I look forward to meet you in person sometime in the future. Until then, live long and prosper. Oh, oh. I, I can't do that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, you're, 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 yeah. Okay. thank you. See you. Bye-bye.